Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the various parables of Jesus, which are contained in the Gospels. And this week, the parable of the strong man, which is found in all the first three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. This one is very short, no more than two verses long in any of the Gospels it appears in. But there's also the context to look at, too. So let's take a look. Or how can one enter into the house of the strong and rifle his goods, unless he first bind the strong? And then he will rifle his house. Matthew twelve twenty nine. No man can enter into the house of a strong man and rob him of his goods, unless he first bind the strong man, and then shall he plunder his house. Mark three twenty seven. You can't really take what a powerful person has unless you subdue them first. When a strong man armed keepeth his court, those things are in peace which he possesseth. Luke eleven twenty one. Powerful people who protect their own goods don't need to worry about them being stolen, unless... But if a stronger than he comes upon him, and overcome him, he will take away all his armor wherein he trusted, and will distribute his spoils. Luke 11.22 Someone more powerful comes along and overpowers them, taking all their stuff, including their means of defending themselves. So, what's the context in which this parable was told? Jesus had just been accused of being possessed because he'd cast out demons. This was something that typically ordinary people couldn't do. Jesus responded to this accusation in a number of ways. And if Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because you say that through Beelzebub I cast out devils. Luke eleven eighteen. First, he said that if people rely on the devil to cast the devil out, then the devil must be fighting with himself, which is bad news for his side. The devil can't be much of a threat if he's gotten into the habit of undermining himself, but he is a threat, so that's clearly false. Now if I cast out devils by Beelzebub, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. Luke eleven nineteen. Luke doesn't say who Jesus is replying to, but Mark refers to them as the scribes, and Matthew as the Pharisees. Indeed, many scribes were Pharisees, and Pharisees would sometimes become priests, though not always. But it seems likely that some of those accusing Jesus were priests, since in Jerusalem at that time the son of a priest could become a priest themselves, and they were often looked to as authorities on how to deal with such unnatural matters as demonic possession. These young people in training for the same jobs as their parents are most likely who Jesus is referring to when he asks them whom their children cast out demons by. He then says that those children will be the ones to judge them for what they've said, which probably means that their children have been having some success at casting out demons, and that by attributing Jesus' success to the devil, the accusers have actually maligned the whole work of exorcisms, insulting their own children as well. If the work of their children exercising demons doesn't come from the devil, it's also not justified to say that about Jesus. But if I, by the finger of God, cast out devils, doubtless the kingdom of God has come upon you. Luke eleven twenty. Finally, Jesus explains the truth of the situation, and then moves on to the parable afterwards, providing it as an illustration of how exorcisms really work. In this context, the parable of the strong man is meant to show that the demons seem strong to normal sinful people, but that they have no power over Almighty God. He can easily take everything they have and every means they use to protect themselves and bind them up, making it impossible for them to ever cause harm again. God is fully capable of all this and much more. Also, we see in this parable a hint of Jesus' true identity, though it's not stated outright here. Next, the cost calculation. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.